Hey, what is going on guys? This is SMEV Reviews, and today we are taking a look at the third studio album from Philip Phillips, Collateral. Let's get to it. Philip Phillips won American Idol back in 2012, and then quickly thereafter released his debut album, actually a really good album with two really big hits, Gone 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 and Home, and then he uh, two years later released his second album, and since then, it's been kind of on a hiatus, and from my understanding, I think it was a lot of legal battles that he was fighting, and that's why he kind of disappeared, because he had to deal with a bunch of legal battles with, uh, I think, American Idol, to my understanding, as well as his record label. Uh, I Don't quote me on that, because I did not honestly do my research for that fact, but uh, yes, I do believe that that was the case. And so, since then, he's now trying to make the music that he enjoys, and while you could tell that it was what he enjoyed in his earlier albums, he definitely has taken his own approach to it. These This album is much more focused on bluesy, jazzy elements than his previous albums. The previous ones were more just singer-songwriter kind of music, which, while good singer-songwriter music, it, it was not... You could tell that this is now bringing out those flares that he really wanted to do. This album does have a lot more focus on that jazzy, bluesy side, because this is clearly what he wanted to do, and that is the big influence on this album. That being said, though, My Name has a little bit of harder rock influences. I, I say metal with a quotation mark, more metal-esque, only because the riff sounds very, like, very much like a metal riff. But it is not metal, and I know a lot of people take their metal very seriously. I do not, I'm not trying to get, dig into that area. But yes, absolutely, this album has a lot of different little elements. It has poppier sounds, jazz, rock, anything, anything at all. And honestly, while I do like that, I like that there are a lot of elements and a lot of different things, it creates this really dissonant sound because every song sounds like a different song. It doesn't sound the same as any of the ones before it. And while a, a couple of them do have a lot of that jazz and blues elements, uh, for the most part, it doesn't really feel like a cohesive album just because each element is just different and none of it really me meshes together too well. And, and that's probably one of my biggest problems with the album is that it just feels like a collection of singles. Now, I say that. All of these songs are excellent, honestly. I, I do like almost all of them and none of them really feel like f filler in the album. It's just the fact that each one of the songs sounds like it could be a single to a different type of album. One could be a single to the blues album. One could be a single to the rock album. One could be a single to the pop album. And while I like that there is a lot of elements, it's just so, there's so many different sounds that it creates a problem. And I just, personally, I start to have a problem with that with repeated listens. And it kind of just gives you some musical whiplash just listening to each of these songs back to back. It sounds like you just push shuffle on the songs that you had saved on your phone or something. And I honestly do truly enjoy a lot of these songs. That's not saying any of these are bad. It's just saying that some of these don't quite mesh together too well. They each sound like they come from a different album. It's like a greatest hits album or something. And while, like I said, these songs are really good, and I do like a lot of them. I None of these, I'd really say, are just bad songs. They're all actually really good. That being said, not all of them have that element to make them amazing, and I feel like that's pretty clear in the album. I feel like that's the one thing. There's a lot of albums that, or a song or anything, that has something that holds it back. Besides that, that whiplash that you get from listening to this album, mainly... It just doesn't have anything to make it amazing. It's great, but there's nothing holding it back. It's just there's nothing pushing it forward either. It, he has a great sense of, of how to write music. The lyrics are good. The musical instrumentation is great. Production is actually really good too. It all sounds good, but there's just nothing to really make it stand out and push it into something great. It just it doesn't stand out too much. And that's not saying that they're bland at all. Honestly, a lot of these songs are really good, and that's why I even called them like singles, because it sounds like what you could lead off an album with. They are really good and do stand out, just not enough. Magnetic is an exception to this, though. It is just wonderful all the way across. Philip Phillips' voice and his falsetto works perfectly with this song, and I do feel it's one of the strongest tracks on the album. Now, Philip Phillips' voice is something that I honestly really enjoy, and I do feel that it is a selling point of this album. It's a very mature and husky sound, and I do actually really enjoy it because, as I said, it just sounds matured and aged, and I like that. I like the sound that he produces with his voice and the tones that he can create. 
and that just helps whenever he's doing things like blues and folk and all those kind of elements. Doesn't work as well with some more poppier sounds, I, f I, I personally feel, but even then, it does work, it just doesn't work as well. And that's what I'm saying, there's nothing that really makes it bad, there's just, a lot of the time, there's just nothing that really pushes it forward into complete greatness. And when I say that they're like single, it's not that I'm saying that it sounds like he's pandering to the radio, because he's not at all. Miles maybe sounds like it's pandering to the radio, but besides that, none of these songs really sound like something that just fits in with mainstream radio. And so it's not that he's pandering, it's just, as I said, they just sound like they're representing a totally different album, each one of them. And because of just this really dissonant sound that, cre that is created, but yet so many great things about this album, I'm just going to give it an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Sorry the lighting's a little different. Trying something different. Been working a lot recently, and so I'm, I have to film at night instead of using my natural lighting. So hopefully you guys like this. If you do, please let me know. Also, what did you guys think of this album? Did you enjoy the album, or do you think that it, it was just too dissonant and too many different sounds on it? Please let me know down below. Besides that, thank you guys so much so much, and I'll see you guys later.